Sometimes my wife makes fun of me a little bit for having a gun on me everywhere I go, even when I'm at home. And carrying a gun at home is a little more difficult than one might think. Oftentimes, if you're mowing the lawn or you're in boxer shorts or that sort of thing, it's a little more difficult to do. So I wanted to take a look at, do you really need to carry a gun when you're at home? And I'm gonna start with the Department of Justice data that said there's an estimated 1.03 million home invasions every year in the U.S. Of those home invasions, 41% involve some sort of a gun, 8% involve a knife, and 58% of home invasions are with force and involve bodily harm in the end. That was a pretty alarming statistic. That means that there's a, about 600,000 homes invaded every year in the U.S. where somebody's injured in that invasion from a weapon. So, in my opinion, of course you need to carry a gun at home. Now, carrying a gun at home is a pretty difficult thing to do, like I mentioned earlier. So there's one particular gun that I carry easily, often when I'm at home, if I'm mowing the lawn or if I'm on a boxer shorts, and that's a North American Arms uh, mini revolver. Those things are great. They're so easy to carry around. I have this little tiny holster. It just buckles right onto my boxer shorts. I know that seems silly. It's an inside the waistband holster, but it works. There was one night about three months ago where I was in the kitchen talking to my wife and a man walked into our kitchen. He had a baseball cap and a sunglasses on and I did not have a gun on me. And the very first thing I thought was, how dare I not be prepared for this incident? Now, as it turned out, it, it was a friend of ours. I just didn't recognize him. And he came in, and for the record, don't ever come in a person's house without letting them know, especially wearing a hat and sunglasses. It's a good way to get yourself killed. But I wanted to make this video to really make these, these numbers known because I do believe you do need to carry a gun in your home. There's so many times that home invasions occur and they get very violent, very quick, if you're home. Out of 1.03 million home invasions every year, 58% of those get violent pretty fast. And that's an alarming statistic. I definitely won't be caught off guard ever again. Um, I have a gun on me everywhere I go, even if I'm in my boxer shorts in my house or out mowing the lawn in shorts. I will definitely have a gun on me because you just never know. Now, there's a lot of homes in America, and 1.03 million might not seem like a lot, but in the end, man, that's a, it is a lot. That's quite a few home invasions. So, in some, to some degree, depending on where you live, you might be safer outside your home than inside your home. So, I definitely want to take a moment, let you know those numbers. Again, out of 1.03 million home invasions, 58% of them get violent. 41% of those breaking into homes have a gun on them, and 8% of them have some sort of sharp object and a knife. So those are alarming statistics. I believe you need to carry a gun at home. Uh, there's all sorts of easy ways to do it. Um, there's holsters that just go, I mean, you can carry a gun in your pajamas for goodness sake. It's so easy to do these days. And with something like a North American Arms or a Taurus Spectrum or a Smith & Wesson Bodyguard, those are tiny little guns. You have no excuse to not have a gun on you. And you may think to yourself, well, I'm in my house, I'm in the safety of my home, I don't need a gun on me. But in the end, if a home invasion occurs, you'll be darn glad you did have a gun on you. And if you didn't, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. And hopefully it lasts longer than that invasion. So there you go. There's my two cents on carrying a gun inside the home. I think it's critical that you do. To some degree, again, you may be more at risk of bodily harm inside your house than outside your house. After all, houses are big targets for criminals. And they know people are in there protecting them, so they're going in prepared with guns and knives. So be prepared yourself. And on a side note, I'd be curious if you would comment below if you carry a gun in your home. I'd be curious how you carry it, what kind of gun you're carrying. Now for me, I have kids in the home, so I can't leave guns around the house. It's either on me or it's in a safe, and that's it. 
everywhere I go, it's either on my person or it's in my safe. So I'd be curious uh, if you carry a gun in your house, what you carry, how you carry it. I think it could really benefit us all because I think this is just something that a lot of people just simply don't think of. As we get prepared to leave our home, we holster up and we conceal carry as we wander around the world. But what about inside your home? Or what if you're just wandering around in your boxer shorts? How are you carrying? That's a tough thing to do. So again, the way I do it is I like the North American Arms mini revolvers. They're just, I mean, they, they weigh about as much as a quarter. I mean, they're so lightweight. And you just stick it in a little tiny holster and just clip it on. So again, leave those in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you're carrying at home. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support our channel through Patreon, that link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so never hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. Thank you.